Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Or as my friends sometimes like to hear, hiya. <laughs> Happy May the 4th. I was sitting this morning with um, my coffee and chatting to Holy Spirit about May the 4th. Now, full disclosure, I am not a Star Wars fan. Um, but I still think the Star, you know, Star Wars Day is still quite fun and quite exciting. Uh, and I, uh, I remarked to one of my friends earlier on that it's it's like Christmas Day for geeks. So uh, <laughs> enjoy Christmas Day. Yes, any excuse to mention Christmas. But I was sitting there and I was just sort of pondering on it. And this this idea of the Force, may the Force be with you, which of course is where you know may may the Force comes from. And people get excited about it because then my thought went to how gracious and brilliant and loving god is and i when he when he sort of put that in my head i was like yeah i know that but what has that got to do with may the 4th and then he showed me and he explained and i wanted to share that with you today now it doesn't actually matter really what day of the week it is when you actually get to enjoy this episode yes it is at the time of recording may the 4th but that's largely irrelevant because the the essence behind it the love from god behind it doesn't change but what he was reminding me of is that he is so big and so loving and so gracious that the way that our minds are wired, uh, and I'll get to this specifically what I mean about that in a moment, but the way that our minds are wired works even when we don't yet let him love us. I had to think then get that the right way around. He is always loving us. He has loved you from before you were even born uh, and will continue to love you and loves every single person on this planet who was and is and is to come and all the rest of it. But not everybody yet lets God love them. Uh, and as a side note, one of the things I find really exciting, if you have people in your life who don't yet let God love them, you can love them instead. Or not instead, as well as, like God doesn't stop loving them, but they'll let you love them. And so those times when those people in your life let you love them, God's love is then coming through you into them as well, which is a side note, but I find it really exciting to imagine and, and consider that every time that you show up and then you are loving and kind and, and, and generous, that's God's love reaching out and the, the ramifications of that are just delightful and marvellous. But what I was really reflecting on is uh, the thought went from the force, you know, some people uh, don't really sort of talk about God or talk to God, but they might talk to the universe and they put thoughts out there to the universe. Now, I, I shared with one of my friends about um, some of the exciting stuff that they were doing in May and some of the goal setting that I've done with God. And she remarked, well, yeah, you know, I'm a big believer in putting stuff out there to the universe uh, and, and it, it will it will happen. Uh, and the thought that popped in my head was, well, yeah, I can't disagree with that. Now, yes, I prefer to speak to the creator of the universe. But what's so marvellous and loving about God is actually he is loving everybody. And the way that our brains are wired. Um, and so, OK, backstory slightly. So, you know, some of you may have come across the, um, the law of attraction uh, and it gets a bit of a, a bad rap in Christian circles because people are talking to the universe. But it works. And the reason why it works is because that's the way your mind is wired. There's real science around how the law of attraction works. And it's all to do with God, the way God created you, which is just marvellous. Because how is this for a good and loving God, you know, a dad who is there for you, is that even when you don't yet let God love you, he is still there using the power of your amazing mind and so this is kind of some of the thought processes that was going through my head this morning as i was sitting there sipping coffee and yes this was like before eight o'clock this morning so like that's the power of god and coffee i guess <laughs> uh, but he the reminder that he gave me and he wanted me to share with you by way of today's heaven and hell little story is that he never stops loving and so yes when you are in in active day-to-day -day relationship with him when you let him love you when you when you do life with him it's more fun you know I gotta be quite honest I I have no I haven't tried this but I because I don't remember a time when I don't think I've ever remembered a time when I've spoken to the universe uh, instead of talking to God but if you if you're somebody who talks to the universe do you expect the universe to speak back no, because the universe is this like big cosmic power, I guess, is how people see it. You know, they put universe with a big capital U. But listen, 
us as Jesus folk don't need to get hung up on that. There was a conversation I had with somebody oh, a couple of weeks ago about um, chakras and energy points and all this stuff. There's terminology that people use for things that we very easily reject in Christian circles because, oh yes, it's not biblical. Okay, yeah, it's not specifically biblical, but it was Paul that wrote uh, I think I'm thinking. I want to say it was Paul when he was writing to the Romans, where they had a, they had a. a I think it was an altar or a, a statue or some sort of um, shrine to the unknown god. And I would maintain that people, when they are using some of this language, which you know, to our Jesus ears might sound a bit like New Age, and oh no, we got to reject that. But what if it's them reaching and searching, and at the same time, God is there going, yes, yes, look, and so. The other side to this as well is just an encouragement and a reminder that as you're walking through life with people, ask God to help you hear and feel their heart. Ask God to help you see those people how he sees them, to love them how he loves them. And yes, it's not always easy. You know, we have people in our lives who I sometimes feel like they've been put into our lives just to help us practice loving. One of the things you can be certain of is if you ask God to give you opportunities to love more like he does, he is going to let you practice. <laughs> and that's not always easy. But remember what it says in the message translation of the start of Romans 12. Here's what I want you to do, God helping you. You don't need to willpower your way through this. You're not meant to, okay, I'm going to try really, really hard today to love. No, ideally doing life with God in relationship, flowing in his love and his joy, you haven't got to do it by your own strength and by your own power. That's just striving and pushing and it sounds completely exhausting to me. So, you know, there's a, there's a few different layers to what we have today. But the biggest piece really was that reminder that no matter where you're at today, uh, in, in your relationship with God, he is there with you. Like he does not ever stop. Like we said yesterday, you are never out of context for God. He, there is not one moment in this day when you are not in his thoughts. He sings songs of delight about you, over you. His thoughts about you are more numerous than the, than the, the grains of sand on the beach. Now I live quite close to the beach. There are lots of grains of sand on there. <laughs> and our beach is quite small. So it blows my mind to think that you look at these all these tiny grains of sand and God has even more thoughts concerning you than that. And I was asking God this morning, like, how is that possible? How can we have a God who sang the stars into existence, who is like big and powerful and holy and awesome and epic and all that stuff, and yet can love us intimately and personally? And his answer was, well, you know, ice and ice and steam. It's a, it's one of those, it was a, a metaphor uh, and playground members, you will I'm going to share some more of that metaphor. I think it's in tomorrow's love note. Um, we don't need to get hung up on the how. Instead, he's inviting you to just trust in his love. He loves you completely. And even the, 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 the very evidence of the fact that he's loving on everybody, even when, they don't let, even when they don't yet let him love them, is just a testament to how big and gracious and amazing he is. So I guess your little, if you want a bit of a, a homework or a play thing from today's episode, is I would invite you to, to dig into those pieces of what we shared today that bump up against you. If ever you find that you read something or hear something and you're like, hmm, I'm not sure. The delightful thing is you don't have to try and figure it out on your own. You can ask God. So you ask him, well, okay, what does that look like within the context of me doing life with you today? Or, hmm, I'm not sure about this. What do you think? Or, more challengingly, if you have someone today who is quite difficult, I would invite you, challenge you, ask you to, to ask God to help you see them through his eyes. And be assured, I'm not inviting you to do something I haven't done myself. There are people historically who are sometimes tricky and I've done it and actually you know God is amazing and he has the ability if you, if you do this with him to, to change how you see people and that really is what it means I believe to seek first the kingdom let's see this world through his eyes through his perspective and it we have the potential then to to bring salvation to the nation with with his joy with his love and that's really exciting to me as a as a quick thing a reminder to end with as well if you enjoy these episodes because we are keeping these short and sweet so they can go out to all of the places but if you enjoy these episodes uh, i would invite you to go deeper in the itchy soul playground uia.com forward slash join is where you can do that but in the meantime thank you for being with me today whether you've been joined us live I'm going to give a wave to those people who joined us live <laughs> whether you're catching up on the replay later wishing you a delightful day take care bye-bye